What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. It is time to get this garden together. So that is what we are going to do today. We've got so much work, it's not even funny. And uh, yeah, let's get going. The very first thing we're gonna focus on is our garden boxes. This video has actually been filmed over, oh gosh, a whole bunch of days basically because the, uh, the weather's been funny. Like today is a nice day. Uh, it's a little breezy, a little chilly, but it's still, you know, no real big clouds, no rain, no high winds. So, you know, we can get out here. But some of the other days have been pretty nasty. We actually saw winds about 60 miles per hour. What? The good thing is, is despite all those winds, our greenhouse stayed intact. Yay! But in terms of filming this shindig, we'd start filming, things would get crazy, and we'd have to close up shop and start another day. If you didn't believe me about the weather being crazy, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it's actually flurrying right now. Snow? For real? Come on. It was just like in the 60s and 70s. Now it's back to snow? All right, garden boxes. Check it out. There's a hole right there. Yeah. Big dogs can dig a hole in the yard. Here we go. Coming at you. Clamp this on? Yes. You drew yourself a line, you're not even on it. You didn't bring out big enough clamps to do this properly. It was fine. You had it too far away from your line. How's it going, Bridget? Good. Good? Almost got it together? There you go. You're doing it. I mean, you got a couple leaves in your hair here. That's because Bridget put them all over me pause. while I was paused. Oh, goodness. The pause, pause game. Could you unpause me? She just paused me. Mommy. Unpause. No, Mama, the flare. Pause. Oh, oh, Emmy, June, are you I'll okay? Fix it. I'll pause. Fix it. Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Once we got those garden boxes in, it was time to start working on the fence. Can't say that I'm in love with our fence right now, but it's gonna be doable and there's time to make it what we want. Just isn't gonna be right now. Probably isn't gonna be this year. We'll see, you all know about me. I love projects, so I'll probably find another project in that. We gotta put a fence around because uh, we've already had some goats go in and eat our cauliflower. Well, two of the cauliflower. It's what happens when your wife loves her goats more than she uh, loves all the work her husband does. I'm not saying that's true or anything. Robbie's been working on a soil sifter for us. He got it done. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we need to use. We're mainly just trying to get the rocks out more than anything. It's working, so whatever. I've already got one post in, so I'm gonna start working on the other posts. I'm gonna do the corner posts first and then figure out what else I need I haven't really decided on a design for the fence or if, like, am I just gonna do corners and then a two by four inch fence or am I gonna make it prettier than that? I just don't know yet. Let's talk about what it is that I do. Well, first, I dig out the main part of the hole with a spade. It digs well, it's quick, uh, and I can get, well, as deep as the spade is. 
which is pretty deep. And I usually get about one and a half to two of those before I need to move on to the next tool. My next tool is this digging iron. This thing is fantastic. It's just really heavy. And this, you break up the dirt, the stones, whatever you got in there. That does a pretty good job. And I'll get it like another six inches, depending on how deep it is, maybe three inches each time I do it. A lot of people think that when you use a post hole digger that you only dig the hole with this. Well, that's not gonna work. You need to be able to kind of make your hole go like this on the way down. Well, like this, or like that. Yeah, there we go. And this doesn't really allow for that as much as the first two tools. This, you just kind of pick up the dirt and get it out of the hole. Once I get all that dirt in the hole, that's when you're starting to see me use this piece of wood and a mallet, hammer, whatever, to pack the dirt back down in there. That's so that way the dirt is super compact and I don't get a whole lot of movement from my post. And there you have it, post in the ground. Just about two, three, four, five, six, maybe more to go. I guess I gotta figure it out, but not too bad. I'm not sure if I'm gonna brace the corners yet. I haven't really decided. I probably will, but yeah, at least now they're in there pretty good. So right now I'm gonna fill this hole back up and then I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of the fence because I have some issues, which I'll talk about in a second. What I do first with this post is just tap down the dirt in there, make sure my hole is packed and flat. You can pour stones in there you could put a concrete pad in there if you want. That kind of keeps your post to last a little longer. I don't know how long we'll actually have these in here for, so I'm not too worried about it. Once you get them in, keep your post still. Start putting some dirt in. Put about six inches of dirt in, and then you're going to start packing it down again. At least I do. See my little helper over here? She's making sure that I'm doing it right, I guess. I'm going to put a level on the top of the post. Careful. And just like that, we've got all four posts in. Now I need to figure out what to do next. So my post is right over here. It's in line with the greenhouse, like a tad in front of it actually. So I could go the whole way across. And the problem is, is I need access to this side panel to be able to roll up the side to get some ventilation in there if I need to, or to fix any of the wiggle wire or the plastic or whichever. So if I put a fence the whole way across, I pretty much blocked myself from doing it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna put a T-post in that should allow me to just get a piece of fence here and keep the animals out, but not necessarily fully enclose it. Yeah, let's look at the other side. On this side, I have the corner of the greenhouse, then a post down there, whoop, somewhere. And then I was gonna put a post right here, but I also have to put the gate to get into the garden uh, because we don't have a gate to get into the garden just yet. And we want to be able to get in and out of the garden, obviously, so that means I'm definitely digging more holes, I guess. I'm thinking that our gate is going to go down on this corner post and we'll go in and out from over there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the bracing on my posts. So there's a couple ways that you can brace it. Now, if I was using T-posts, uh, and even with the T-post setup I have here with the wood post and the T-post, they have those special like T-post anchors for bracing. Uh, they're aluminum and they're just crap. They bend 
they don't hold as well as they should and you know I just I hate them I've tried to use them and I absolutely hate them what I found is the best way to do it is actually with two posts and a piece of wood uh, braced together with some wire but this is not gonna keep animals in it's really just to keep animals out and it doesn't need to be that heavy duty however if you've got some Simpson joist hangers which I've got right here this is a setup that you can use that is pretty solid you put your t-post in the ground at an angle and then you put a joist hanger in just like you would those aluminum POS's and it holds incredibly well believe it or not and it's really cheap when you think about how much these cost versus how much those uh, aluminum t-post braces cost they are massively expensive now if you're only putting up a t-post fence and no wood in posts this isn't going to work and you're kind of relegated to having to use those things unless you come up with some other ways to do it however this here is pretty fantastic and i would recommend that if you're going to put a fence in put wood posts in in your corners anyway you won't regret it, it it'll hold up better and you could still use t-posts everywhere else like i'm going to use here in the garden so far i've gotten in all of the four posts i've gotten in some of the t-posts and i've gotten in the wooden post for our gate so that's about where i think i'm going to leave it and we're going to start to get cleaned up. All right, folks, I'm going to try and come back out either tomorrow or the next day. Rumor is it's supposed to storm tomorrow, get a lot of rain. I don't really know, so we'll see what happens. But for now, I hope you like what we did so far, and stay tuned so you can see how we continue to transform this garden, which is hopefully going to be our last garden placement ever on this property. So we